On February 23rd, 2010, the Los Angeles School Board was about to vote on a motion to give away 15 LAUSD schools to outside operators like the Mayor of Los Angeles and corporate char charters. Teachers and parents organized a pre-dawn candlelight vigil and protest of the giveaways. By 1 p.m., we were allowed into the boardroom for public comments. Although I was ill-prepared to speak, after watching multi-millionaire school managers and organizers speak as if they represented the communities, I had to speak up. I was not about to let these charter school people spread misinformation about what's really going on in the community. At the beginning of this video, I share my speaking time with Marta Sanchez, a parent at 28th Street Elementary who collected over 900 signatures in her community in opposition to school takeovers. Please have a look. Uh, Mr. Lara. Hello. Um, before I speak, I'm going to share some time with Ms. Marta Sanchez. Hi, good afternoon. My name is Marta Sanchez. I'm the president of 28th Street School. I am just have one question. Why are you going to do with the 900 surveys that I did in my community to support local district 5 plan for school site number 18? Thank you. And with that, Marta Sanchez is talking about petitions from the community. What I want to speak about is self-determination. Every community has the fundamental right to self-determination. And one thing the superintendent did not mention was the votes. And he did not read out the votes to you. He did not read out the votes to you. I want to say it one more time. The community overwhelmingly voted. And I want to, I want to applaud the parents from these charter schools who are here today taking an active, active, um, Act, act, being active in their children's education. However, they do not speak for all the parents. They do not speak to, to the parents who have to work right now in sweatshops in downtown LA, picking fruit and so on and so forth. They do not speak for them. I educate their children every single day right here in South Central Los Angeles. I live in Boyle Heights. I chose to put my son in the community school at First Street Elementary School, which is a public school which we love and we will continue to support. What happened to the parents' voice? Let's not get fragment our district to give schools to some of those who are are very dedicated and very involved who have the time and privilege to be involved and those who do not have that time and privilege will set them in those other public schools we let's not balkanize our school district we should have one school district united school district where parents teachers and community could be involved if we want a choice, we can create change choice without charter schools. If we want innovation, we'll give you innovation. Teachers wrote plans with the innovation. Ramon Cortinas, our superintendent, actually applauded a lot of those plans. I know of teachers working nonstop at Lincoln High School who are working nonstop on those plans. Let's not forget other things like adult education. And please, please, since my time is up, let's stop all this infighting and let's stop these budget cuts that are going to tear all of us apart. Thank you, Frank Gonzalez. After Mr. Gonzalez.